Hello and welcome to the Pigeon Academy show. Wherever you might be watching or wherever you might be listening from, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, we are coming to you live from the Big Apple, New York City. This is the number one leading pigeon show coming out of the United States. I am your charismatic host, Rodney G, and we will be having an outstanding show today. Today, we're going to be talking about all levels of feeding right here at the Pigeon Academy show live stream. You're going to be able to check out this show sometime later. Again, I am your host, Rodney G, and welcome to the Pigeon Academy show. We are going to go through some very good information this hot afternoon here in the NYC and we're going to be going over some really good information. What's up Tom DiMartino? Tom, I'm going to tell you I'm going to put a nice show together today. I believe this show is going to help a lot of beginner and intermediate flyers, but mainly beginners. This show is going to cover the feeding of our fine feathered friends, the pigeons. Today's show is gonna be covering some really good information on feeding. Now, let me start breaking down some of the things that have recently occurred that have motivated me to uh, put this video together this afternoon. We're in flying season right now for regular pigeons and we're in racing season for your homing pigeons. Those are the two predominant fields right now, which are your flying pigeons and your racing pigeons. There are some show, shows occur, getting ready to occur, but the main frame of the bulk of the bird season right now is the racing, flying, and I'm gonna say show season. So what we're doing today is we're gonna put some information together and a lot of this information is going to be available to you on the rebroadcast where you can go to the Pigeon Academy show page and our YouTube Pigeon Academy show page. And you're going to be able to take some great notes and it's going to give you a foundation on how you should be feeding your pigeons. First of all, let's deal with some of the issues at hand that come with pigeons. Okay. There are, there are four seasons that you should be concerned about. There are four seasons. One of them is the flying season, the molting season, your winter season, and then the spring comes your breeding season. A lot of people do breed in the winter, but I'm going to say that's mainly your homing pigeon guys. So what we're going to cover today is we're going to cover those four classes, flying, molting, winter, and of course, your breeding seasons. Now, to really bring this in perspective, I want to cover these four things, okay? And I just want to go and I want to show these, these are the four classes that we're dealing with today. We're dealing with these four classes today, again, which is your flying, molting, winter, and breeding, okay? Now, in this classification, to bring the perspective even further, I want to talk about the four classes of pigeons, the three classes of pigeons that we see most of the time, okay? And here are the classes of pigeons that we see most of the time, okay? Let me make sure I got everything that I need here. I will need you guys to be patient with me today because I think this is going to be one of our very good shows. So here's the four class. Here's some of the classes of pigeons that we're dealing with. Okay. You have your short face pigeon. Okay. A lot of different pigeons come in this classification, which are short face to maintain these pigeons you need a certain level, you need a certain level of health 
and feeding and care for what's known as a short face pigeon. Okay. And they come in all different things, templates, Budapest, tumblers, you name it, all the different classes. They come in these short face pigeons. You have to know how to feed these short face pigeons in your flying, molting, winter, and breeding. So if you're following along, now you're starting to understand where I'm coming from. Then you have your medium face pigeons. A lot of different classifications come with these pigeons. Rollers, tumblers, tipplers. I mean, you see a lot of these different, a lot of these different birds are coming in these classifications. Your short face, your medium face pigeons. Okay, you're gonna see a lot of these birds and you're gonna be dealing with a lot of these birds because mainly these are the birds most fit pigeon fanciers keep. Short face, medium, and your long face birds. Our biggest concern as pigeon fanciers is how do we care for these birds? How do we feed these birds during these, season, these seasons? What mixes, what medications, what supplements are these birds going to need in these different seasons? Because if you feed a bird, you can't feed a bird a molting mix. You can during breeding, but it's not the bird is not going to get the total benefit of that. What we're talking about today is how to feed these four classes of pigeons. Okay, and we're going to go back to your, your short face pigeons, to your medium face pigeons, and of course, your long face pigeons. Okay, so you're going to see these different classes of birds, but also we're going to cover some information on some of the very common birds that are that we see most of the time. And here go a lot of the birds that are kept most of the time, okay? And these are the birds. I'm going to go through this very short list, and then we're going to get deep into it. Your homing pigeons. Most of your homing pigeons are medium and long face that we keep. Those exotic short face birds, we don't really see a lot of those birds. So I'm talking about what's most common that we deal with. Of course, there's some exotic birds. I'm not talking about the exotic birds. Today's information does not cover racing. This covers your flying birds, pretty much your flying birds in all these different classifications. Okay, so some people do keep homers just to fly, not, I call non-racing homing pigeons. Very calm, very common. Okay, so we get a chance, we see a lot of these birds. Okay, so I'm gonna again, I'm gonna bring up some more pictures. I'm gonna bring up some more pictures. And here go a lot of your, your common pigeons that you see all the time, tipplers. Very common bird. A lot of fanciers keep tipplers. Whether it's in the United States or abroad, you'll see a lot of these birds. Real common birds, your roller pigeons. Now the feeding that we're gonna go over today, the feeding that we're gonna go over today is gonna cover a lot of these birds, whether they're short, medium, or long face. But we're talking about your most common birds that most pigeon fanciers keep. Roller birds, your flights, very common pigeon throughout the suburbs, cities, and countrysides. Beautiful, beautiful white, white flighted, beautiful birds. So these are a lot of the birds that, again, most fanciers keep. I thought I had some pictures of some Budapest in here. And we also want to put in there the Budapest also. There they go. This is a, becoming a very common bird. How do you feed these birds in these four seasons? You're flying, molting, winter, and your breeding season. So let's see if we can get down to the nitty gritty on how these birds 
should be fed. So I'm going to take down some of these, these pictures, these photos, and I'm going to see if I can get us right into the mix. Again, this video is going to be more, benefic more beneficial to you on the rebroadcast. Okay? So let's go up here and let's bring in some of this information. Okay? And you know you're watching the Pitching Academy show with your guy, Rodney G. Okay, I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to grab some information. And we're going to go to... We're going to go to the Baden site. Today's information is coming from two different sites. From the Baden site 